Hey everybody, welcome back to Kindred Spirits on the Roof. Last time, we continued to struggle with feelings for Hina, but we got some nice advice from you and Matsuri and some reassurance, which was cool. And uh, we also kind of got some reassurance from, in a, in a way, from Maki and Aihara, which was cool. So, uh, we'll continue to see how Yuna pushes through this and what conclusion she comes to on her feelings. I know I'm looking forward to it. So, let's get into Bonds number six. Part six, saying number six sounds weird, part six. Frankly, I'm not very good at math, nor do I like it very much. But I'm concentrating as hard as I can on the workbook in front of me. I recall the formulas, apply them to the problems, do the calculations, and fill in the answers. You know, I'm surprised. Someone like Yuna, I'd expect to love math. Just because it's so... It's so, like, logical and methodical. Like, it's method and it's proof and it's logic. I'm kind of surprised. Studying, especially for tests, is good. Because I can focus on rereading textbooks, working on problems, and memorizing vocab. I can concentrate on the steps from beginning to end, just like when I'm cooking. I don't need to think about unnecessary things. Unnecessary? They're not unnecessary, but anyway, it's better than stressing over a problem I can't find an answer to. Saturday, our customary study session before exams. Anno and I are studying in my room. We have been since dinner. For the moment, Hina's gone home. Her mom and dad are home today, so she's eating there and taking a bath before coming back. And here I am, feeling somehow lonely and uneasy without her. But whenever she's around, I get restless and distracted trying to figure out the answer I'm failing to give her. But it's just nowhere to be found. I think about it, stress about it, but it just never comes together. I end up spacing out and worrying the people around me. This has been going on for so long now. What should I do? Uh, now I'm thinking about it again. I really have to focus on my studying. Yuna, just here, tell me. Eh? Ah, ah. Ano called my name, finally pulling me back into study mode. Good. I looked at the section Ano had her pencil pointed toward and explained to her the complex distinctions of the conjunctive form. I wonder if she really understands, but I guess that's kind of how classic lit works. It's a bit late to try and fool Ano now. She's been worried plenty about me lately. I can't believe she's been so concerned about me. I'm the same. If I'm not concentrating, my mind will go right back to what I'm worrying about. I didn't think I was this fragile. I thought I was more composed than this, but I guess I was wrong. Ano, huh? She's been worried about me this whole time. I was trying to pretend I was alright at first, but now the only thing I could say to her would be, I'm sorry. I know that Ano's been really worried about me, but I haven't been able to tell her what I'm worrying about. But I've talked to all sorts of people since then, had all sorts of people worry about me since then. They've given me advice, or at least encouraged me. Sachi-san, Megumi, Sono-sensei and Tsurugamini-san, Nena-san, Amashima-senpai and Inamoto-senpai. I'm sure there are more, too. When did I get so close to all these people? 
Ano. She's not related to my current issue like Sachi-san and Megumi are. She doesn't have the same feelings as Hina, where the root of my issue lies, like Sono-sensei sensei, or my senpai. A friend unrelated to this problem. Ano has nothing to do with love between women or homosexuality, right? She said she likes Yuri, but she can't imagine anything IRL, right? Yuna, did you just really think IRL? I know this is a serious moment, but did you just... You couldn't say in real life you had you've been hanging out with Ano too much, which isn't a bad thing because I think Ano's a good friend. I think you can trust her. I think you should trust her. I mean, come on, come on, she's your friend and she's unrelated to the problem. That's the best person to ask. In a situation like this, you get someone removed from the situation who you can trust. I think that's Ano. I wonder, would Ano be able to give me a good answer? Or if not an answer, some advice to help me with this problem? No. She doesn't have to tell me anything. I want to talk to her. I want her to hear. Oh, Yuna. That's so cute. You're like... I love how you want to connect with people now. <laughs> it's so wonderful. It's so wonderful to see you've come this far. Yes, please confide in Ano. It'd be oh, wonderful. Um, hmm? Nani, nani? ちょっと聞いてほしいことがあるの。テストのことじゃなさそうだね。うん。テストは関係なくて。ちょっと悩んでることがあって。ほう。She was relaxed before, but Ano straightening her back. It it's a little hard to say if we're going to be all formal. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Anno is totally... From the beginning, it has been set up that Anno was going to know something about the kindred spirits. And then that whole conversation her and Yuna had about... Even if it's something weird, I'll believe you. I knew it was in reference to them. Ah, oh, I so knew it. Yuna, maybe you were always tricked Ano's unexpected words had blown away all the things I'd been wanting to tell her. I hadn't told anyone about Sachi-san and Megumi, of course. Not Hina and not Ano. That I'd seen ghosts, spoken to them, and was helping them? I didn't think anyone would believe something like that, and I didn't think anyone else could see them. No one ever noticed them, anyway. Uh, I... その... I wonder if it's just being able to see stuff because now I'm curious about that moment at the school festival when Yuna gets the tip from Megumi to go, you know, comfort Yoka and get her to get over her stage fright. And before I was thinking, well, Ano's just a good friend. So when Yuna's like, hey, let's make a detour, Ano was like, yeah, whatever. I didn't really want to go to the show anyway. It's like, not a problem. But now I'm wondering if if uh, Ano witnessed that whole interaction and maybe that's why she was more willing to go. Not that she wouldn't have, because she is Yuna's friend and I think it's very apparent at this point how much she cares for Yuna. Uh, but I wonder if she witnessed that interaction between Yuna and Megumi. こ、今年の春くらいだったよね。連休明けだったっけ。ユナの周りにぼんやりユレみたいなのが見えるようになってさ。ユナ、ちょっと様子が変かなとか思ったんだ。ちょっとしたら何でもない感じになったから。
ユナの周りに見えるしで最近ずっと変だったよねだからもしかしたら例のせいかなって思ってずっと困ってたあ私もっと早く相談に乗るべきだったできるだけユナの力になれるかなってことしてきたつもりだったんだけどあえっと I was shocked. So shocked I'd momentarily forgotten how to speak. Ano knew about Sachi san and Megumi the whole time. And I was asking her some pretty strange things now and then, wasn't I? So she knew. And that's why she helped me out so much? I squeezed the words out somehow. I'll just tell her about them. There's no point keeping it a secret anymore. Uh, that's such an Ano response. I love it. Whoa, Ano's face is glowing. She's holding her head, blushing like crazy. I, I had no idea. She's not hyperactive or anything, but I've been thinking of Ano as the kind of person with a lot of hobbies who can get along with pretty much anyone. ああ。ついにユナの前でやっちゃった。ああ、あの。そんなに気にすることないと思うわ。ありがとうユナ。なぜ毛が身に染みる。ユナからの相談だと思って気合入りすぎてフライグしたら Still holding her head, Ano's perfect pa posture collapsed as her face hit the floor. Ooh, ouch! So I'm guessing if they were sitting, maybe it was like a, like a, not a slam. It's weird because the way this game is animated you always see the characters standing even when they're not. So sometimes I forget that maybe they're sitting sometimes. Yeah, she, if they were actually sitting, her head probably wouldn't have actually like smacked the floor. It probably just like fell and landed on it. So Anna was worried about me this whole time. I guess that makes sense. She's been going out of her way to talk to me lately. Her crashing and burning like this was probably her way of trying to make it easier for me to open up, too. 
I feel bad for putting her in this position. Also, Anno's hair is super long. I'm just noticing this. Wow. It's like past her butt. Like down to her legs. Jesus. Anno raised her head. Her face was still bright red. But I have to say, this is great tension building and suspense building. Where, like, we know Yuna wants to talk about Hina, and we really want her to talk about Hina to Ano. Like, I, I really want this to happen. And, of course, the conversation had to derail into Sachi and Megumi, and then Ano had to get all self-conscious, and then Yuna had to get hesitant, and now, oh, you guys are killing me, let's get to it, because I am feeling the suspense, and it's a wonderful storytelling technique, very nicely done. I've decided I'll tell Ano. I'm sure she'll listen. I don't need an answer from her. I just want her to hear this. I swear to God, if we don't hear, okay. Thank you, thank you. I thought maybe we were gonna cut and we weren't gonna hear the conversation. I was gonna be very upset. Ano's face got redder and redder, but she still listened. At Ano's urging, I went through all the things that were jumbled around in my head. でも私誰かを好きになったことないから。ひなのことをその恋愛の相手として好きなのかどうかはっきりしないの。わからないのにひなに返事できないじゃない。好きの意味が違ってたら。ひなを悲しませることになるし。
ひなに私も好きって返事をしても女同士なんだろうもう今さらそれが変だとか思わないけどでも周りの人はそう考えてくれないかもお父さんやお母さんひなのおじさんやおばさんを困らせるかもしれないひなにだって私が恋人だってことで迷惑かけるかもひなが変な目で見られたらどうしようそんなことずっと考えてて気を抜くとすぐこのことばっかり考えててどう答えていいかわからないもん迷ってる悩んでたの And even after telling all this to Ano, the answer still isn't clear. I just loop back around to the beginning. Back to what do I do? Ano stayed silent for a little while after I stopped talking. She stared at me, her face still flushed, her fists clenched on the top of her knees. She'd been sitting at attention the, this whole time, too. But I guess she figured out that I was finished. <laughs> She opened up with that. I'm glad she said it was only natural. It's reassuring for someone to tell you you're not strange. I've been watching nothing but girl girl couples for this last half a year, and I thought I'd figured out that it wasn't anything particularly special, but still, I was happy to hear Ano say so. I don't think so. I thought it was a bit odd at first, sure, since I thought romance was something between a man and a woman. That was what I considered normal. And well, it might not be normal exactly, but love isn't strange no matter where it's directed, even if that's to a member of the same sex. I've learned that there's no difference between those feelings. Since everyone I've watched has been so devoted to their love. Ano listed out all the things I was stressing about and そういうの全部取っ払っちゃったら悩んでるいろんなこと全部なしにしちゃったらえそしたら多分ユナがもう分かってることが残ったりしないひなちゃんへの答えそこにあったりしないかなひなへの答え? 
付き合ってほしいとかじゃないよきっとひなちゃんってさ付き合ってとかそういうことよりさユナの気持ちがただ聞きたいんだよ好きだって言った自分へのユナの気持ちがそんな気がするよ Is it there? My answer to Hina? Is that what it is? それを答えてあげなよ。<laughs> どんなのでもいいからさ。What's there now? そ,そんでさ。ユナがどんな答えを出したとしても、どんな返事をヒナちゃんにしたとしてもさ。あ、あは。ユナのその答え応援するその答えを出したことでユナとあとヒナちゃんがどんなに大変でも私二人の味方するよあの大丈夫だよユナ Oh look at Ano being a good friend I really like that they brought her into the To the story to play an important part. I was kind of afraid she was gonna kind of be. um She wasn't really gonna have any real purpose to the story and to Yuna's character development. But this is really nice. This is really nice. Thank you, Ano. I'm glad I talked to you, and I'm sorry I kept quiet about all this for so long. I should have talked to you sooner. But I'm glad I talked to you now. I really am. So, 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 Are you guys not gonna go back to Megumi and Sachi san? I feel like. Are you just gonna forget that that conversation ever happened? <laughs> I pulled open my notebook again. Ano finally relaxed her posture and bur buried her face in her workbook, as if trying to hide from me. I heard the front door opening, and Hina's, I'm back. It was time to return to studying. I'll get rid of them little by little. All the things I've been worrying about, like Ano told me to. One by one, and when they're all gone, finally, I wonder what I'll be left with, and I wonder what I'll find. Oh, the things Yuna's worrying about. Yeah, I'm wondering if that if we can tie that back to to Yuna's sort of emotional arc as we see her with what she struggled with in junior high with the cooking club and her confrontation with Ayahara Senpai and I wonder if we can tie what she's worrying about now with Hina to those things that have stood in her way in the past. And I'm not sure. I got to think on it a little more. But that was really good. Like I said, very happy to see that Ano had real purpose in the story. And not like in a forced, the plot demands it way, but in a very natural way. And that was cool. And I love that she supported Yuna. And I'm so happy Yuna confided because. You know, Anno's your friend. Anno cares. 
So that was cool. Next time, I we're gonna we're gonna struggle a little more, grapple with the feelings a little more, and hopefully continue to make progress. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Take care.